So in the last video, we'd worked out that if we save our program as main.py and run it, that program will execute when we start the Pico up standalone away from a computer. We tried to import the bird program so that uh, when we ran this program, when we got to the end and clicked on something, it ran bird. But we saw we got memory errors. We couldn't run the import at the bottom, which is probably what was giving us memory errors. Everything went pear shaped. So let's load the bird again. See how we might be able to change this. Now, the, these are fine. These are all to do with the Pico display. I don't see there's a problem with having those in there anyway. They might get redefined uh, by the main program. I'm going to leave those in at the moment. We've got um, these definitions. I don't see there's an issue with that. The issue is as soon as we import this, the very first thing that happens is that all of this script runs. One of the things that I've seen is that instead of having this so that it just starts, let's leave all, all this as is. It's fine it put, pulling these things in as long as we don't leave, use these names in any other program, I think. But this bit, which actually starts it, let's turn this whole thing into a definition itself. So let's say that this is going to be called bird game. So we go def. Remember, we've done def up here for the reset. But this time we do def bird game. And again, no idea whether this is going to work particularly. And of course, because all this is here, and if anyone knows a quicker way to do this, please comment. So all of this, let's just move it forward one tab. And as long as I get this right, hopefully. All right, so that should have defined that as a bird. So if I, if I run that again now, we shouldn't see anything happen because we've set up all this code up here We've not actually run this game. So just to check that we haven't done it, the very last line, bird game, and try and run that. And hopefully now the game should start, as long as I haven't done it, it's in silly. No, I've got a feeling I need all these others inside it. No idea whether this will work. Let's see whether this works now. All right, so it works. So I've put definitions inside it. So I've called that whole thing bird game. All right, which maybe isn't again isn't the best way of doing it, but that that works now if we run it. So let's get rid of bird game there. Let's just make sure that's saved. And in here, let's do import bird again and see whether this does anything. Hopefully we'll get the menu this time. All right, we've got memory allocation failed now. I've got a feeling that that's because I'm calling, I'm setting all of this as well. You know what? Let's just, let's just take, let's just take all of this. Def bird game display and have that there. So that won't initialize that. Let's just try running that. Everything goes pear shaped, but that doesn't do anything. Let's go back and run that one. So that now works. So that's working. There's no extra memory because we're already um, doing this display buffer up here. So if it was running in there as well, that would be wrong. So I'm, what I'm hoping now is because we've imported this, I'm just going to try and run bird game at the bottom of this loop. So this is back to this menu. So at the bottom of that, let's just say bird game. I don't think this will work, but let's try it. Oh, it seems to. Let's go. No, all right. Bird game isn't defined. So what I have to do, I imported bird there. So I think I have to say bird dot bird game. Let's try that. All right. OK, so what else isn't going right right now? So height isn't defined. Hmm. So I'm a bit worried about rerunning this, but hey, whatever. So here, let's just say bird game display. 
So run that first. So when, if we run bird game first, it does is run that one. No idea. Let's try that. Go back, run that one again. That bit works. Fire. No, still, what's it saying? Mer memory allocation failed. I really think this is because we've already set this display buffer here and it doesn't like setting it again. The issue is we need some of this, but we don't need all of it. The simplest way of doing this really is say that the bird game had width and height. Again, I'm, multi I'm, I'm messing with this too much. I didn't really want to do this. So let's get that display bit out of there again um, and put it, well, we don't need that. But this time I'm sending the width and the height in and we'll get that width and the height from the main. So we define width and height there, but that means bird game here, we've got to call it with width. See whether that works. Okay, yeah, not ideal. Because really I wanted my program, this bird program to be standalone. But the issue is now that if I try and run this now, um, this won't run. This isn't going to do anything. Ignore that. That's just what was on the screen from the last time. In fact, if I run that first and then stop it and then go back to here and run this, you'll see that this isn't doing anything now unless I add bird game into it. So in fact, I'd have to add bird game display and bird game. One of the things I've found in some modules is that it has code something like this in it. I don't really understand what this is, but actually my test, we don't want that. So let's let's just, just have a look at this little bit of code that I've seen people using. So we're defining this main class here and say, call this thing in it called my test. Now the previous example, this was just defining a something to run. But of course we've got what we need to run. Up here, let's call in main that bird game display. Um, so let's say that the main comprises of calling bird game display and then calling bird game and height and width. If this works the way I think it does, it's saying that if the name of this is main, ignore what this is at the moment, we'll come back to this, then run main. Oh, height isn't defined. Right, okay, so this, this bit here, forget about calling it that. I'm just going to say that the main... The main program has that code in it, All right? And then it calls bird game. So let's try it. Let's try that. Stop it and run that. Ah, oh, syntax error line 11. What have I missed out now? Line 11. Oh, it doesn't like the fact that now there's a definition with nothing. Let's try again. Within this bird.py program, the code is running. This is saying here, if this is run as a main program, then execute whatever this is, which just happens to be my setting up the display and running the bird game. Now, hopefully, if I go back to my menu program and run that, he now says press B to flap the bird. So let's press B. And it's now gone over to the second Python script. So what have we seen today? Well, with a little bit of modification, the games that we've run, we can make so that they run as a standalone file, like such, or that it can be called as an import into another file. Obviously, because on this, we're always setting up the display. We've had to only set up the display once on this main script. And on here, if this is being run on its own, we then set it up within this procedure, method, whatever we want to call it here. Uh, and then this little bit just says, if we're running this in the environment that it's main and hitting run when you're in this is puts it in that environment, whatever that means, then do whatever I've got below. I think looking at this, we don't even need that main bit. We can just paste that there. But then I suppose that main is a convention that might be nice to follow. Let's see whether that works. Yeah, still seems to work. So... If we're running this directly, then run that code and then run the bird game. And then here, if we run this now, hopefully this still works, we get the menu and then we can fire the game off.